Hi and welcome to tonight's study in the book of Proverbs. We're going to be looking at chapter 10 verses 4 and 5. Verse 4 says, The one who is lazy becomes poor, but the one who works diligently becomes wealthy. And verse 5 says, The one who gathers crops in the summer is a wise son, but the one who sleeps during the harvest is a son who brings shame to himself. Now, I've mentioned this before, but the book of Proverbs, even though it, it does give some practical advice on how to live your life, it's not a book of, of um, practical living. It's a book of spiritual living. It, it tells you how to live a godly life. And um, in Matthew chapter 13, it says this, starting in verse 1. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat by the lake. And such a large crowd gathered around him that he got into a boat to sit while the whole crowd stood on the shore. He told them many things in parables, saying, Listen. So he's standing on the corner shouting. Remember that? Listen. A sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seeds, some seeds fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground where they did not have much soil. They sprang up quickly because the soil was not deep. But when the sun came up, they were scorched, and because they did not have sufficient root, they withered. Other seeds fell among the thorns, and they grew up and choked them. <clears throat> but other seeds fell on good soil and produced grain, some a hundred times, some a hundred times as much, some 60, <clears throat> excuse me, and some 30. The one who has ears to hear better listen. So he starts and ends with listen. I think Jesus wants us to listen to him. Now, in this parable, there's two things that determine the richness and the poverty of, of uh, in, in this. And that is the quality of the soil and where the seeds are thrown. Now, in the parable, there's already some good soil, but we don't know about the other soil. Maybe uh, the, the thorns and thistles can be cleared and plowed up, and that could become good soil. The rocky ground could become good soil. We assume that the path is there for a reason so that you could walk through this field, but that could be turned into good soil. Um, so it takes work to make more good soil than is in this parable. And then the second thing that it takes is the care with which the sower broadcast the seeds into the soil. You know, we always look at the at this parable as a as a you know, God sowing the seeds and they're going to fall on these areas. But the way that God sows seeds is through us. So when we read this that that they fell upon good soil or they fell upon rocky soil, well yeah, and ultimately God knows that they're going to fall on that kind of soil, but we're the planters. We're the farmers. We can, we can make the soil different. And then after we make the soil different, we can broadcast the seeds into the areas with the best soil. Um, so if you look at this parable with you as the sower, and go back to Proverbs 10, 4 says, if I am lazy, I will become spiritually poor, but if I work diligently, I will become spiritually wealthy. And then, after diligently preparing the soil and, and spreading the seeds, that you're going to find out that the work is still not done. The work in the parable of the sower from Jesus is not done till the harvest. And, and verse 5 would say, if I gather crops in the summer, I am a wise son. But if I sleep during the harvest, I am a son who brings shame on myself. And, and this is a son of God. 
we're in the family of God. And, and remember that Psalm 1 says this, How blessed is the one who does not follow the advice of the wicked, or stand in the pathway with sinners, or sit in the assembly of scoffers. Instead, he finds pleasure in obeying the Lord's commands. He meditates on his commands day and night. He is like a tree planted by flowing streams. It yields its fruit at the proper time, and its leaves never fall off. He succeeds in everything he attempts. It says here, like a tree planted by flowing streams. Not like a tree that happens to be in the woods next to a flowing stream. This is a tree that a sower has gone and either sown a seed or planted a sapling in the correct place. Now, the Hebrew in Proverbs 10 verse 4 for lazy is kaf ramaya. It means slack palm, like the palm of your hand, like slack palm. And diligent is karutsim, which means hands of diligence. Hands, and, and slack palm is actually singular. And hands of diligence is plural. So, what we need to do is put those hands on the plow, start to plow that field for the kingdom of God, and not look back until we get to the other side. Your homework this week is to meditate on Proverbs 10, 4 and 5, Matthew 13, go even farther than, than what we read here tonight, and Psalm 1. And then, seek God's guidance on how you can become a better sower. And if you'd like to, there's a blog that I have listed on my website. And um, if you're watching this, then you got it through my website. And you can go into that blog and, and exchange ideas with me and with anybody else um, on how to do that. Until next week, God bless you.